This is my aquaponic system. It's a replicated natural environment. Effectively, the large tanks are home to baby barramundi and some silver perch. They're fed a special diet of protein pellets and their water, which becomes nutrient rich because of the manure, is cycled up into these grow beds, which are full of a special hydroponic mix of porous stone. Now, the key to the whole thing is this gravel. You see, the gravel is home to bacteria, and these bacteria strip excess nitrogen out of the water as it flows out of the main tank. And as it flows through, the plant's roots taking up that nutrient, and you end up with purified water flowing back into the fish. The plants you can grow include Kang Kong, the Asian vegetable that's so delish when steamed or added to stir fries, and watercress, which is incredibly good for you as it's densely packed with nutrients and phytochemicals. And then there's these guys here, of course, cucumbers. They're all part of the cucubit family, which includes melons, pumpkins, and squash. And one of the things about this family of plants is they love nutrient-rich moisture passing through their root system. And then the important thing you do is make sure that you train them up. Once you've got them up and going, they look fantastic. Of course, the fruit's easily accessible. Remember, this wouldn't look good if it wasn't for a good source of nutrients. So the fish in this system are a vitally important part. Last year, the barrel were much bigger when I had Carl Langdon over for a fishing adventure of a different kind at my place. As the fish get bigger, they're going to produce more waste, and that's more nutrient for the plants. Now, you might be wondering how long it takes to get a little barrow from that size to a plate-sized fish. Well, that's to about 750 grams. It's going to take about 26 weeks in this environment. And in that period of time, we'll end up with about 20 or 30 beautiful plate-sized fish. The idea of this is, of course, to grow them during the summer months. Barra love warm water. The warmer the water, the faster they grow. Of course, you've got to keep feeding them. But you harvest them all before you get into the winter months. And the idea behind that is that during the winter, that's when the rainbow trout go in, and they're a lot quicker crop. They'll only take 16 to 20 weeks to deliver a 750-gram fish. It's a very productive system. Thank you.